Uh, brand new Jackson show comes up next here on JTV. Adrian Sharp takes you to the Hot Air Jubilee, 3, 7, and 10 today. Next, from the Michigan Theater of Jackson, uh, Executive Director Steve Tucker. Hi, Steve. Hi, Bart. How are you? Thanks <laughs> for having me on today. Yeah, welcome back. Beautiful hot day, isn't it? It is. That's Lovely. what we live for. Hey, speaking of the Hot Air Jubilee, last week when, they, when, it, when it was going on, there were like three balloons that landed on Lockmore. I heard about that. Yeah. yeah. And my neighbors were all out and took pictures and it looked like a fun thing. But yes. I wasn't there, unfortunately. I was Our own Molly good. lives on, uh, in your neighborhood. Molly? Yeah. Right around the corner. Oh, I didn't know that. Everyone knows where you live. Yeah. Um, so Except you, you've the, never been the over. The theater's closed right now. Theater's closed. There's scaffolding. There's these plaster guys in there that are just unbelievable. We have, we have some pictures of what's going on. Yeah, Jeff on. came over today. What's Look at that guy. On? Look at that. He's uh, fixing, making molds, taking molds. Uh, they do so much of it with their hands, it's wild. That netting there to his right, he wads that up and puts some sort of m massive like, fluid on it and uh, fits it into somewhere and then plasters over it. And it's, a lot of it's hand, hand done. It's really kind of cool. In fact, all of it is hand done when they do that part. But A multi-phase project. It is, yep, and look at that. Oh my word. Wow. So, yeah, it's weird walking in there now and you see all that scaffolding. Those guys are, they're, they're quick and they're, uh, they're not horsing around up there. They've got already some of the nice stuff done on your right there, on the front of the balcony that's been redone already. So they're on it. Well, the theater's been um, amazingly uh, preserved considering it's uh, nearly right, 100 yeah. years old. But um, plaster, water, is it water damage? That's yeah, it was water damage in the 90s. Um, the theater closed and, you know, I don't really have a real acumen, accurate uh, historic uh, document that tells mm -hmm. what the sequence of events, which tells you that it was closed, but um, water leaked in from the ceiling, uh, the roof was bad. There's Mercer there, the product, project managers are incredible, they're so good. Yeah, they are. Uh, Chad Vincent's over there, he's running that whole, whole building right now and he does a great job. And, um, the water came in and, of course, just sat there, and water is an enemy of plaster. So, um, so you've got some great professionals uh, working on this. That's good yeah, to these see. Are, this is a group from uh, New York City and, this, and Chicago. They're sort of two, uh, two groups working on it. They're from the same company, but um, Evergreen Restoration. Hmm. And they did the lobby uh, several years ago, and they did a great job. And, you know, they have, all the, they have the color palette saved. And, mm -hmm. Uh, they just know what they're doing and they're, you know, they're up high and scary. The oh, big hole is covered. The big, big hole that's up there, it's covered right now. It's already covered. It's not painted and everything, but it is uh, no longer leaking air. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find any, like, uh, anything buried in the walls? We found, Chad Vincent actually found um, Prince Albert in a can. Really? <laughs> uh, you know, a little, little tobacco can. Huh. So many candy wrappers he found. And uh, one of the theater workers, a guy named Dave Daniels, who had dedicated much of his life to uh, the theater and saving the theater, his, his ashes are in the, in the balcony. I did not know that. Yeah, I took a photo of that. I climbed up there uh, last week with Chad, and uh, he's got it all. There's, it's planks to walk on now before we had to walk over it when I went up there years ago. Mm -hmm. But uh, he's got it really safe now, and finally, I, yeah, Dave, Dave Daniels, he had a uh, Dr. Oh. Diode, I think they call him. Dave Daniels, mm -hmm. there's a name. Yep. The um, project's uh, part of a capital campaign. I think last I checked with you, you're about halfway. To the <clears throat> We're goal. better than halfway now. We crossed the $4 million threshold uh, last night. Uh, so that was big. We're, we're, we're closing yeah. in on it. So we're very excited about it and hope to uh, put it to bed uh, soon, you know, no matter what, we're, we're working hard and, uh, you know, the, being, having the plaster worked on is a good visual and uh, things are really happening. So we're very excited about it. We're, we thought we'd like, okay, we're going to get a little bit of time to breathe. No, no. no well, when will people be able to see, because you're not going to close completely for the whole project. You're, correct. Uh, you know, I, I thought maybe in three weeks I would open it up on the weekends when they're not in there working and say, hey, if you want to, you know, I'll. I'll put it out there on Facebook if they want to come in and look. 
they won't be able to go into the auditorium per se without a hard hat and uh, but I thought like I'll let people take a look at it you know I can open up the big double doors off off of uh, Pearl and people can see right in from there so things are happening you know um, and they're happening so fast you know a minute ago it was uh, 2019 and we were talking yeah. about it and uh, then when everything stopped working for a while we uh, put it on hold that fired it right back up but my capital campaign is uh, the can committee members are amazing you know uh, Phil Willis, Phil Curtis, Ron Ellison, uh, John Waldron and Rick Walton are all like going to town so mm -hmm. it's amazing the amount of money we've raised and um, we're still continuing you know we're a couple million short but I have a, a good feeling that that's going to happen quickly and then we can just get on with uh, the programming and things and, and have something uh, ready for the people of Jackson again. Mm -hmm. We're, we are during the closing, Stephen wants to have the popcorn giveaways like we did during COVID. So we will be doing that a couple nights a week too. So people can drive by and we'll hand a popcorn and tell them what's going on. And yes, we missed the popcorn. Oh, I'll tell you, it's rough. Is there anything it. you want to uh, invite people to? Yeah. Well, we can't. We're we're. Uh, I I don't really have a, a a public event yet that's coming up to uh, to invite anybody to yet. But uh, you know, stay tuned. It's going to be happening. Okay. So it's a. Uh, you know, we're hope we're hopeful that uh, first second week of September we're going to have something real big. The work it's, that um, will involve um, creating a bigger stage that's going to be probably next secondary. Year. Yep. All right. Yep. It's all happening. Well, look. We've run out of time. Right downtown. <laughs> hey, thanks for coming in. Thank you very much. Thanks for the update. Keep up the great work. Thank you. The Michigan Theaters, Steve Tucker. Well, Ooh. that's it. All right. We've uh, run out of time. Thanks to Steve and uh, everybody with us here today. We have a brand new Jackson show coming up next. And be sure and check out the weekend with the Gospel Fest and the Hot Air Jubilee on Summer Spectacular. And we'll see you at the events around town, including cruise night Friday night and the backyard barbecue on Sunday and the relay all weekend long. Thanks for watching. See you soon.